Today, we're looking at some electronics basics discussing Ohm's Law. Welcome back to Quick Tech Tutorials. We're going to be looking at something today called Ohm's Law. So if you're starting to get into electronics or you're learning about basic circuitry, you got to start with Ohm's Law. So what exactly is Ohm's Law? Uh, it discusses the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. So only three factors that we need to be concerned about for now. <clears throat> now in Ohm's Law, as we said, we have voltage. But we're going to say voltage is represented by V. You have current which is going to be represented by I. And then you have resistance, which is going to be um, represented by R. Now, the formula for Ohm's law is very simple. You have voltage is equal to current times resistance. Or if you are looking for uh, current, Current is going to be equal to voltage divided by resistance. Or if you're looking to find resistance, it is going to be equal to voltage divided by current. Now, these are very simple formulas. Um, whether you're trying to find out one of these values in a series circuit or a parallel circuit, um, it does matter because you have different rules that you need to follow in electronics. So I'm going to give you a couple of them really quick. <clears throat> um, in a series circuit, right, all the parts are connected in one linear fashion. There is only one continuous pathway within the circuit. So we would say that all the parts are connected in series. All right. Um, the other type of circuit is called a parallel circuit. Whoops, let me actually write that correct. Let me get my eraser out. There we go. So now you also have something called a series parallel circuit, but we're not going to worry about that right now. All right, so we have a series circuit, and we have a parallel circuit. Now, one rule to follow is in a series circuit is that current is constant meaning it's not going to change right the total current within that series circuit will be the same across all the parts within that circuit as opposed to you will have voltage dropping So, for example, if I had a very simple series circuit with three resistors in series, the current is going to be the same across all three resistors. However, depending on the value of the resistor, you'll have different size voltage drops across each resistor. In a parallel circuit, <clears throat> it's the opposite. So I'm going to slide this up a little bit. In a parallel circuit... Voltage is constant across all of the different branches or pathways versus current, will drop right at different components. So, for example, if I had a parallel circuit with three resistors in three parallel branches, the voltage is going to be the same across those three branches, but the current is going to change across those three resistors. Now, for resistance in a series circuit, um, it's pretty easy to uh, figure out the total resistance in a series circuit. So, uh, total resistance is actually found by adding up all the resistor values, right? So for example, if I had, um, again, three resistors in series and one was 10 ohms, one was 20 ohms, and one was 30 ohms, 
right? Total resistance in that circuit is just 60 ohms. So total resistance is equal to adding up all resistor values. Right, so we could say R1 plus R2 plus R3 equals R resistance total. So it's pretty easy there. In a parallel circuit, um, it gets a little more tricky. So you can't just add up, get all the resistors and say, oh, here's my total resistance. There's actually a specific formula for that. So in a parallel circuit, <clears throat> um, the formula for total resistance, so I'm going to put R total, is actually equal to 1 over, and it's 1 divided by the first resistor value plus 1 divided by the second resistor value plus 1 divided by, again, the third resistor value, and so on and so forth. It depends on how many resistors or what your uh, components in the total resistance across each of those branches is. So... It's a little different, but again, if you know your resistance values, it's a matter of just plugging it into the formula and solving it. All right. So this is just some basic components of Ohm's law and a series and parallel circuit. So as a really quick review, right, Ohm's law discusses the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. And voltage is represented by V, current is represented by I, and resistance is represented by R. Um, to solve voltage, it's just voltage is equal to current multiplied by resistance. To solve for current, right, it is uh, current is voltage divided by resistance. And for resistance, it's voltage divided by current. And again, these are total values. So if you're looking for something in a particular part of the circuit, right, just be conscious of whether or not this formula will work. Uh, some of our rules that we're following in a series circuit Current is constant across all of the uh, parts within that circuit. So current is constant and voltage will drop back components. So for example, if I had, again, three resistors in series, current is constant across all three of those resistors, whereas voltage will drop at each of those. And if I wanted to find total resistance, it's a matter of adding up uh, the resistor value. So again, three resistors in series, I would add those up, and that gives me my total resistance within the circuit. Pretty straightforward there. Um, now in a parallel circuit, voltage is constant across all of the branches and the current will drop at those different components within the branches. And if I wanted to find the total resistance in a parallel circuit, we have to follow this formula here. So if I have a resistor in one branch and a resistor in a second branch and a resistor in a third branch, we have to do one divided by one divided by resistor one plus one divided by resistor two plus one divided by resistor three. And that will give me my total resistance in a parallel circuit. So I have a part two to this video um, where I'm going to be doing some practice problems. So if you're still not sure how this works, please be sure to check out the second video. Um, and hopefully this gives you a basic understanding of Ohm's law and how it works in relationship to series and parallel circuits.